first question, Chief, is uh, your name. Oh, Michael Amos. And how old are you, Chief? Um, 67. And what's your occupation? I'm retired. And what did you do prior to then? I was in the military, retired military. Okay. And your tribal membership? Uh, you mean blood quantum? Yes. Okay, it's not required. Okay. Uh, only the lineage is required. Okay. I just did mine because I wanted to. Okay. It's not required. No. Okay. And what's your position in the tribe? I'm the principal chief of the tribe. Um, we cover Southwest Louisiana and Southeast Texas. Okay. So. Okay. Uh, what What is the name of of your tribe in their native language? Uh, Ishike. I S H A K. Ishike. The slur word was a takapa. Okay. Okay. It was given by uh, the Choctaw and then when. The Spanish and the French came over, they kept the word of attack upon. Mm -hmm. But our real name was really Ishite, you know. So that would be the name from the beginning of time, you know, with the tribe. Yes. Where, where did your tribe, uh, what is the origin of your tribe? How did your tribe begin? Where did it start from? Well, there's a lot of saying, you know, some say that we came from the sea. We don't really know, but the Ishite have been here for like 4,000 years. We see. So. But the Ishite have been here for like 4,000 years. We don't really know. There's a lot of write ups about Egypt and stuff like that during the Ice Age. But uh, there's nothing really solid that I know of that uh, where I actually originated from, except here. Okay, the tribe was basically Opelousa in the St. Martinsville, Onoville area. All the way to Lake Charles, Calcasieu, to Alexandria, mm -hmm. through Natchitoches. And also, if you go into East Texas, to Galveston, <clears throat> Matagota Bay, all the way down. It was, we have two clans in Texas, see, and four in Louisiana. See, if you go back up to 1802, all this was called a Takapa territory, mm -hmm. see? So the Ishaq were here all this time. And that was the, we inhabited all this land and all this area pretty much, so, you know, all the way to Galveston. All the way to Galveston. Pineda may or may not have actually seen the island. However, Spain laid claim to the entire Gulf Coast, including Galveston Island based on the 1519 Pineda expedition. All right, so those people never landed there. Soon afterwards, Cabeza de Vaca and his crew were shipwrecked on the island or nearby in November 1528, calling it Isla de Malhado, Isle of Doom. And from there began his famous trek to Mexico. Various Spanish explorers charted in the region referred to the island as the Isla Blanca, or White Island, and later Isla de Aranjuez, or Aranjuez Island. In 1685, French explorer La Salle named the island St. Louis, St. Louis, and the name became fixed for some time. So you see these people are exploring, they're not really settling there yet. And it's an island of doom for a big reason. All right? Big reason. Now, this is the, what I'm trying to explain to you. The first permanent European settlement, all right? The first permanent European settlements, all right? Before that, there was no European settlements there. You guys paying attention? All right? On the island were constructed around 1816. This is recent. By the pirate Louis Michel Ory. By pirates? Are you serious? Pirates from the early, this is almost 1700, right? 1816. We're talking about Sephardic Moorish people, pirates. They're settling this place. This is the first settlements as a base of operations to support Mexico's rebellion against Spain, against the Catholics, remember? Against the Catholics. In 1817, Ori returned from an unsuccessful raid against Spain to find the island occupied by the pirate Jean Lafite. So another pirate, Mr. Jean Lafitte, right, who took up residence there after having been driven from his stronghold in Barataria Bay off the coast of New Orleans, Louisiana. Lafitte organized, or Lafitte, organized the island's settlement into a pirate kingdom. He made a pirate kingdom. He called Campeche, anointing himself the head of government. Lafitte, Lafitte remained at Campeche until 1821 when he and his raiders were given an ultimatum by the United States Navy 
leave or be destroyed. Lafitte burned his settlement to the ground and sailed under cover of night for parts unknown. All right, you hear all the crazy stuff that's going on here? I want to make sure you guys understand this big point here. Now, it says here the first permanent European settlement on the island were constructed around 1816, not before that, 1816. So they wouldn't need labor to help them construct this these settlements right before that they wouldn't need slaves before that right because they wasn't constructing anything there before that right now you guys to try you guys see what he looks like right you're not going to tell this elder who knows who he is who knows his whole history his genealogy his people that he's an african and that he's self-hating and that he's trying to blackwash or take other people's culture you're the disrespectful one and you don't realize it when you're saying those things. You're being so disrespectful to him and others. You know, and you think you're so right because you got told in elementary school that everybody came out of Africa because your teacher told you in elementary school, huh? That you came on a slave ship, that is that's all your history, that you're so right. You guys won't believe me, you probably won't believe me. But this elder right here, he looks so much like my grandfather. <laughs> you guys don't even know. Just a bit, a little bit darker and everything, but he's at the same phenotype, everything. You know, so, yeah, we got to stop judging and stereotyping, being prejudiced, thinking we generalizing, you know, using tags to identify yourself, praying colors. Know your history, know your people. Who are your fourth great grandparents who are your third great grandparents who are your second great grandparents until you can tell me all that i won't take you serious hello i'm an american indian unfortunately my story has been forgotten i took this picture in front of the white house in the early 1900s i just want to ask you do you remember who you are hello i'm carrie butler i am a montauk indian my people inhabited the eastern and central sections of Long Island, New York. I just want to say to you, please don't let them turn you into something you're not. And always remember your ancestors. Hi, I'm Akowan Z Old Man. I am the head chief of Lac Contra O'Reilly Bands of Chippewas in Wisconsin. Please listen. Don't let them turn you into crayon colors. Remember who you are. Hello, I'm a Kaha Tika Indian. My people are from the southwestern United States and lived in the vicinity of present-day Quijotoa, Arizona. Please honor your ancestors. Hello, my name is James Lemuel Sisko. I am the chief of the Hassanamisco Nipmuc tribe. We are indigenous to central Massachusetts, northeastern Connecticut, and parts of Rhode Island. Eventually we were confined to settling in Grafton, Massachusetts. Please, don't let them erase our history. Remember who you are. Hi, I am a Wasco Indian. We are also called the Wishram. My people lived along the banks of the Columbia River, near the Dallas, in Oregon. I took this picture in Warm Springs Reservation in the late 1800s. Please, know who your ancestors are. Hi, I am Margaret Adams. I am from the Pamunkey tribe. My people inhabited the coastal tidewater of Virginia on the north side of the James River near Chesapeake Bay. Please, listen. Don't ever forget who you are. <laughs>